All right, so we've kind of showed how we organize our um, passing game, okay, as far as full field, vertical concepts, uh, and, and what those are. So first things first, protections. And this is huge, and a huge part of it, you know, and, and I really believe that, you know, if you're a skill player coach, quarterback, running back, receiver, and you want to be an offensive coordinator, you've got to get with that offensive line coach and understand protections, okay? Uh, understanding protections vital to running an offense. You can draw up all the routes you want to draw up. If you don't know how to protect it, you're not going to be that efficient in the pass game. Um, and we do some things to really help us be efficient in the pass game and in our protections and how we practice. I'll talk about practice in a little bit. Um, but uh, you, also, if you're a quarterback coach, you, you're not an OC, you just coach quarterbacks, you really need to make sure you understand protections. So you can teach your quarterback to understand the protections. So important. Being, a, being able to understand the protections is the most, one of the most important parts of being a quarterback because it allows you to have the confidence to keep your eyes downfield and to work that pocket and get the ball out on time. All right, so like everything in this system, protections are built off simplicity. We want to be really simple. We keep it consistent for the OL. That's the big, that's one of the big things. You, we don't want to change um, a bunch of stuff protection wise, because that's when players get confused. And that's when you have missed assignments and people that, that you have a linebacker run through unblocked because maybe you made it too complicated. All right. We keep it simple. We keep it consistent for the OL and we move our back around to help us protect our protections. Um, and, 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 and I control that as a play caller which I like. You know, our center doesn't call it protection. Our quarterback doesn't call it protection. I call the protection in the play, okay? So, so, so here are our base protections, okay? And, and we are a slide side, zone side, man side um, scheme up front uh, as far as pass protection. Our base protection is a zone side, Right there, all right, so there's their zone into that side. I make the call of where the zone side is, all right? The man side, the tackle is locked. Now, if there was a three technique over here, this, this guard would be locked. He wouldn't slide, okay? But because he doesn't have a three technique, all right, in this B gap, or he doesn't have a head up two technique, he's in on the zone side, okay? So that's the zone side, this is the man side. The running back crosses and he's reading one to two, okay? So he, he's, he's responsible for this B gap to the edge. No threats in the B gap, he check, gets his eyes over here, all right? No threats there, he can peek inside one more time and then he's going to get out of there and check down. He don't stay in there if there's no one, nowhere to block, you know, or, you know, we've worked where he checks down in the middle to us. Just, you know, you can game plan that. Um, but that's our base first protection, okay? Here's some, here's some looks at this, okay? So the ball is on the right hash. So our slide side typically goes to the field. Okay, um, not all the time, all right? I do have the ability to turn the protection to the boundary if I want to, or, or if they're bringing some boundary pressure. But right here, you know, it's going to the field. So everyone's got their hands, you know, not oversetting, doing a great job with the fundamentals of pass setting. You know, they try to loop, them. they try to fool us here where, where they're shooting number eight in that gap and then they're bringing the mic here well you know that really doesn't bother us because we've got a slide side so this these gaps are protected all right he's locked on him and he's coming in and our running backs reading one to, to edge one to two so we do a good job we've got this shirt up all right and then our running back's picking up here and we're locked on here. So we got a great clean pocket for our quarterback. 
Our, our running back does a great job. He was a little late because he, that number eight, he got his eyes on number eight and, and saw 37 late, but he does deliver a blow and takes care of him. We don't want our, we don't want our running backs catching in protection. All right? We want them to go attack. Go be the hammer, not the nail, is what we tell them. You know, if he's, if he's catching, he's getting knocked back into the quarterback. So, so go meet him in the, in the gap. There's a great look of uh, great look of protection here. All right. So we got we've got the balls on the on the right hash. Look at our slide side. Three man slide side, and our man side. And we got an extra protector here on the edge with the fullback. He's crossing and he's got this gap. Same thing, crossing. It's our base protection. This is the balls on the on the right hash again, so slide side is going to the left. Our tackle gets beat inside a little. But he fights him down, and then our uh, our running back whiffs. He's going to the right guy, but he had his head down. Not good, not not a good rep for him. Same thing with our base protection here with the court with the running back crossing the quarterback. Do a nice job of picking that up. Ball's in the middle field. You just, you know, you can tip. You, uh, it's really up to you where you want to put the slide side, man side. Typically, I try to get a beat on, I try to get a beat on where they're bringing the pressure. Now, they, they try a little X stunt here where the nose goes here and the backer comes in A. You know, no big deal. No big deal. You know, our center does a good job of not chasing that guy and letting him run free because we don't, we don't run a ton of protections. I mean, we run a man side, slide side. They do a great job. He's posting that guy crossing his face. Don't just let him go, holding him up just enough so he can pick him up, and he pushes off, and he's, get, he's protecting the gap here. Nice, clean pocket for our quarterback to step up and throw a touchdown pass. All right, so you, you get into a deal where you're always crossing the back, right? So defense coordinators, they watch film too, right? They, they're, they're smart guys. All right, so they're going to start blitzing the man side, all right, because your back is crossing. They know your back is going to cross. Well, it's a good thing to do. Put your back on the same side as the man side. Switch it up, okay? Because if... if if uh, we played a game and we, we ran our base protection and they said, okay, he's going to cross and this is going to be the man's side, they're going to start bringing two from this side. So have the ability to move the back around. The back is here now. And he's scanning one to two. Nothing changes for the OL. The only difference is the back's on the same side. So I'll show you a couple of those after this. We also have a protection where our back is out, okay? But it's the same. If you look at these two protections, they're the same protection. The only difference is the back's out. So now the quarterback has to understand that he's responsible for this guy. If this guy walks up and blitzes, he's got to get the ball out ASAP. If the back is out and this backer blitzes, he don't have to throw hot. Let's say we're running a, a Z drive here, all right, and he blitzes. That's fine. That's the slide side. We're protected here. We're protected here. They can hang in there and throw the ball. But he has to understand in the protections that the back's responsible for this guy or this guy, and when he's out, now the quarterback's responsible for him, and he's got to throw the ball uh, to where he needs to get the ball to on, on the hot. So we'll look at a couple, couple reps of this. There's a really nice job here, you know, of them. You know, they're, we got the bat going out here. 
and we get that blitz. And we dump it off to the back here. Nobody's on the back. Again, being a full field offense, we want, we want to get to a point where people have to cover the back. Here's a good job of, uh, of the back being out and the quarterback hanging in there and just throwing the ball. Got our slide side here. See these guys working here. They're working the slide side here, man side here, and the back's out. Great job here. They bring that edge pressure. We don't have anyone for him. We dump it off to the back. The ball was a little low, but we got it out there. Nobody peeled on the back. Another view of the back uh, out. From the same side, uh, from the man side. All right, so then you can get into where you have two back max protection. All right, and you can put the running back and the full back or the U back on the same side. If it's a U back, we tell him you've got the edge, that's your only job, you've got the edge, back, you have, you have B gap. Okay, and why do we do that? Because in some of our schemes, let's say we run our, our double path, post scheme that, that we're going to talk about in, this, in, this, in these sessions. All right, so let's say we got our, our double post and we want to run our U back in the flats. Our running backs used to take in this gap and we don't have to change the protection. Everything stays the same. It's not complicated, all right? And we have a word for that to, to let them know the difference. If he gets another word, he's protecting this edge. The back's protecting this gap. And you got your max protection. You know, let's say they, they drop this safety down in the box and they got seven and we, we want to max protect this and take a shot downfield. We have that ability in this offense to do so. But nothing changes up front. There's a slide side, there's a man side. And there it is with the U back in the flats. Or the F, you know, the F in the flats. Here's some looks at that. Here's the U back in the flats. Doing a good job. Now this right here, the slide side's going into the going into the boundary. Man side to the field with the U back in the flats. Okay, right here we max protect it with, uh, with a uh, fullback here, you back in the flats, and then we get our back out in the route too in this, I believe. This was kind of a game planning thing we did for, for this game. No, he's into protection. We're max protecting cross out of, out of a condensed formation. So here the slide sides to the left. So you see the, the tackle, the guard, the center, and the other guard working that slide side. And then 64 is over here working the end, and the fullback slides in to protect inside gap. Nothing changes for the offensive line. There's another example of the U back in the flats and us protecting it. So the slide side here is going to the right. See how they got the slide side here? And then the man side is to the left. U back in the flats, running backs checking inside out. And then we can do it to where we have two backs and the T is out. So the full back has this gap slide side, man side, 
back's responsible for this linebacker and the back's out. You know, and we want to run some drive routes and, and things like that. We have that protection too. But it's really just one protection. We just mix it up in how we, how we present it. And then when we get our tight end involved in the pass pro, we typically put the slide side to the tight end just to make it easy for him. But, he, you know, he's got his outside gap on the slide side. Nothing changes for the O line. It's still the same, the same pass protection. We do have a full slide protection, okay, where, where our entire line is, a slide, is sliding, zoning. They've got those gaps. And then we block the edge with the fullback, and then our running back will fake and get out on a route. All right, so, so you know, if they bring pressure, they, they bring this backer through this gap, or it's fine. We, we, the, the, the whole offensive line is sliding, full slide protection. That's really our only other big change up is the full slide protection. Kicking the edge with the F will get a good play action, and he's in the flats. We don't run any play actions where we pull the guard. Uh, as far as just basic play action. Now, we'll boot like that uh, sometimes, but, you know, no, nothing. This is our pl full slide is our play action. We just think it's a lot safer. And like I said, we only were sacked eight times in 15 games last year. Here's an example of a full slide uh, protection. So, so we got a full slide, fullbacks kicking the edge. And the T's in the T's should be going in the flats there. Another example of a full slide. We do get a little little heat there. All right, sprint out. Sprint out. All right. We just run slide side. Everybody full slide, stepping to the left when we sprint right. All right, because it, I don't like I don't like everybody reaching right if we're going to sprint right. All right, because that, that just takes everyone to where we're trying to sprint to. We like to influence it by sliding to the left and sprinting right. You know, get in depth, get deep, deep. So you attack downhill. All right, you can never get deep enough. Full back, he's going to take the edge, seal this guy on the edge. All right, T's going to attack the Sam backer. Okay, he's going to protect off that edge as well. All right, if it's just the T and no fullback in the game and we're sprinting out, let's say he's not in, you know, he's going to secure this edge here. All right, he'll do what the fullback's doing here. But we like, we like to sprint out a lot with our fullback. So sprint out. So we got to sprint out to the right, the line sliding left, and then we have sprint out to the left, lines full slide to the right. We want to influ influence the defense. And then our boot protection is almost the same. You know, we, we'll just tag our inside zone, and they'll just, they'll just slide left. We'll tag boot to it, all right? And he'll just fake here. He'll ride it. He'll get depth, and he'll boot, all right? We will, you know, it is a naked boot, all right? We don't have, we don't have a, a guard pulling for it, all right? I've done it in the past. Where we go, where we do slide it, slide it, slide it, and pull the guard out here. But here lately, we've just been full slide, riding it, selling the run, and booting. You know, we can hit our fullback in the flats. We run, you know, some type of sale concept or whatever out here. But um, but yeah, that's our boot protection. So so we have our. Um, really don't have many protections. And I think that not having that many protections allows us to get really, really good at all our protections and we can do a great job protecting our quarterback. We can pick up blitzes easier. It's easier to game plan. And we're not sitting around trying to spend a bunch of time on how we're gonna protect the quarterback. We just run our base protection and we switch it up with our back.